So I just figured out that you can use Runway ML to generate depth maps for free. Now, if you're unfamiliar with depth maps, they're basically like rotoscoping, but on steroids. Epic intro. <laughs> Okay, so to start off, we actually don't want to be in DaVinci Resolve. I mean, like, yeah, you can. You know, you got your clip trimmed down, render it in place, whatever. You, you just want the depth map to be the length of your clip. Anyways, you got to go to Runway ML, and um, I'll link that down below. But you just scroll down until you find Extract Depth. All you have to do is just drag uh, your video into here. Gonna upload and here we go we got the video all you have to do is hit process and it surprisingly only takes a few seconds anyways all you have to do now is export it but here's the thing the free version of runway only allows you to export in 720p and our videos in 1080 but that doesn't really matter because we're going to use this like a mask so it doesn't need to be the highest quality just render export this and then open up davinci Alrighty. so in davinci all we have to do is take our rendered thing my Bob. We're going to highlight everything. Right click, new fusion clip. Go on into fusion. Media into, that's our depth map. We know this because it was in video track too. <laughs> Media into, but we also know this because it's connected to the green arrow, which is your foreground. Now we actually don't need this merge node, so I'm just going to delete that. And uh, let's add an effect, like some blur. So defocus, that's a, I think this is free. If not, it's in reactor, which is also free. Just a cool little blur node. So media in two is our depth map. You would think that we could just connect it to this blue arrow but nothing happens and that's because to da vinci this is just a plain old black and white video so we need to extract this as an actual mask to do that we need to add in a bitmap what not like this that's not the way you want it we connect our media into to the bitmap we got to change the channel to luminance and then we connect it to the defocus <laughs> And now you can see we kind of have some uh, depth created. Hold up. Let me bump that up. There you go. Now in the bitmap, what we can do is refine the thresholds here. So if like we bring this down, you can see this starts to become brighter. And the brighter the image, the more clear the effect is going to be applied. And so that means all the dark parts of the image, none of the effects get applied to them. Now there's a bit of a problem going on here because in our bitmap, you'll notice we have a... Uh, like this JPEG damage, I guess. It's banding, and that's not good. So just as an example, I'm going to drop in a color corrector and then really bring out this banding effect, and you'll notice that we're getting that same pattern in the color corrector. So one solution that we could do is right before our bitmap, after our media node, we're gonna hit shift space and type in D-band. <laughs> but uh, we're kind of limited to choosing the background or if we hit this invert, the foreground. So there's no gradual switch between the two. Well, what you could do is copy this, paste an instance, and then right click the invert and de-instance it. So now we have one bitmap that's going to act as the foreground, but we got to connect the D-band to this instance bitmap. And there you go. So from here, what we can do is add in a dissolve dissolve node. We don't want that connected there. We're going to take the output of bitmap one, connect it to the gold arrow and the instance bitmap, connect it to the green arrow, plug this back into the defocus blue arrow. And what we can do now is just swap between foreground and background gradually. Now you have one more option, which is to go to my discord and download the depth scan effect. Save it to somewhere you can easily find and then just drop it onto your timeline. So it's just this node tree, but packaged into one node. We connect it here. And now we have all the same controls. Now, before you send it and render it, here's the thing. Runway's depth maps aren't the best. Like, you see how this is flashing a lot? That's not good. It becomes really bad, like, right here. Where the, ooh. So one way to fix this is right after your media into, add in a frame averager. Then we're going to switch sample directions to both. And then you can bump up the frames as you see fit. Usually, two is all you need. So now when we watch this back, it's not as flickery anymore and it, it kind of fixes the issue it's it's not bad see anyways that's how to generate depth maps for free if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or join the discord and either myself or one of the editing helpers can help you anyways that's the end of the video goodbye